What's up everyone? Today I'm going to talk about whether the mid-2011 11-inch MacBook Air is still worth it in 2018. My MacBook Air has a 1.8GHz dual-core i7 processor, this is Sandy Bridge, 4GB of 1333MHz DDR3 RAM, an Intel HD 3000 GPU, and it does have a 256GB SSD. This is the highest configuration you can get from Apple for this computer. The MacBook Air does have an aluminum unibody design. This design came out back in 2010. However, it's still a good design for today. It's very thin. The thinnest part of this laptop is only 0.11 inch thick. And the thickest part of this laptop is only 0.68 inch thick. On the left side, you have a MagSafe port, a USB 2 port, and a headphone jack. On the right side, you have another USB 2 port and a Thunderbolt port. The 2011 MacBook Air is the last MacBook Air to use these older ports. So for the 2012 model, Apple updated it to MagSafe 2 and USB 3. However, for the Thunderbolt port, Apple didn't update it to Thunderbolt 2 until the 2015 model. The main reason I bought this MacBook Air is the size and weight. Since it's an 11 inch model, it's very small and very light coming in at only 2.36 pound. My main computer is this mid 2015 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. I'll put the specs on the screen. This MacBook Pro is a lot more powerful than the MacBook Air. However, it's also bigger and heavier. It weighs four and a half pound, but mine's a little bit heavier since it does have a case on it. Here's a size comparison between the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. As you can see, the MacBook Air is a lot smaller. Overall, it's just easier to carry the MacBook Air around. The display definitely show its age as it only has a resolution of 1366 by 768. Also, the color and viewing angle isn't that good. So if you look at the display from an angle, the color starts to get washed out. However, this display is still usable. What's still great about this laptop is the keyboard and trackpad. So the keyboard are still nice to type on with plenty of key travel. This trackpad is a little bit smaller since it's an 11 inch MacBook Air and it's not a forced touch trackpad. However, the click still feels great and this is still a great trackpad. Overall, the display assembly shows H, not just because of the display itself, but also the bezel is very thick and the webcam is only 480p. This MacBook Air is still pretty fast for doing normal tasks such as web browsing, streaming video, checking email, using Microsoft Office and that kind of stuff, which is what I use this computer for. This computer supports the latest version of macOS, which is macOS High Sierra, which means you can still run the latest software such as Microsoft Office 2016, which I have here. I'll launch all the apps in my dock so you can get an idea of how fast this computer performs. As you can see, all the apps launches pretty quickly. The only apps that takes a little longer is Microsoft Office 2016, but it's not too long. As you can see here, all the apps have loaded up. It's definitely not as fast as newer MacBook, but still pretty fast. This computer has been great to me. However, there are two things that I don't really like about this computer. The first one is that this computer heats up pretty quickly. I notice if I just watch YouTube video at 1080p or load intense websites such as LA Times or New York Times, this computer gets pretty hot. The other thing is the battery life of this computer. I only get about two hours on a full charge, but that's also because I have a partially worn out battery. As you can see here, I have about 30% wear on the battery. I notice it does fluctuate a little bit. Sometimes it goes a little bit above 70, sometimes below like right now. If I do put in a new battery in this computer, I'll probably get about three hours of usage, which is better than two hours, but it's still not all day battery life. So if you're looking for a computer with all day battery life, this is definitely not for you. So is the MacBook Air 11 inch 2011 still worth it in 2018? Well, it really depends on what you're going to use it for. If you're going to do stuff like video editing, gaming, and other intense tasks, then you should look for something more powerful like a MacBook Pro. However, if you want a laptop that's easy to carry around and you just need it for daily tasks like checking email, web browsing, streaming video, and that kind of stuff, then the 2011 MacBook Air will still be worth it. Those are the reasons why I bought this laptop. It's easy to carry around and works great for normal tasks. However, if you can get a newer MacBook Air for a good price, you should get that instead. And if you're looking for something with a bigger screen, then get a 13 inch MacBook Air. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe to me. I will really appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.